Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing fantastic. Today I have a very exciting video for you, as I will be letting you know exactly how you can mod pretty much any title that doesn't require APK injection on your quest, which is games like Blade and Sorcery or Bone Lab, for example. And for this, you will require no PC, no phone, no nothing. We're going to be using the quest itself and not even developer mode. So what is up everyone? I'm Mystical and let's jump right in. This is going to be easy. So first things first, you want to power up your quest and enter the web browser. Inside the web browser, you're going to want to search for an app called Mobile VR Station. Now, this is an app that is officially available on App Lab. However, we cannot search through App Lab games inside the store, which is why we're Googling for it. Clicking on Mobile VR Station, that should bring you to the App Lab section of the store. Then you just click install like you would on any other Quest app, and that's pretty much it. You have Mobile VR Station installed, no APKs, nothing like that, that's it. Now, what you want to do is you want to decide which app you actually want to mod, which game. I will be showing you in this video how you can mod both Bone Lab and Blade and Sorcery, as I do believe those are the two most popular ones. And I'll also quickly mention how you can use this to install mods on Questcraft. And of course, if you want to mod any other title, all you need to know is where you're supposed to put the mods, because Mobile VR Station is essentially just a file manager. So first of all, you're going to want to download the mods that you want. Here I am downloading a few of the mods for Blade and Sorcery. These are just random mods mods I've found, uh, nothing like of preference or anything like that. And then we hop into Mobile VR Station. So first of all, let's begin with Blade and Sorcery. Let me show you how this one is done. Now stick with me, because this part could get a little bit complicated. So in Mobile VR Station, you're going to want to browse your local files, then click on all files. Then once in all files, go into downloads, as this is where all your downloaded mods are going to be. Then click this button right in the top left here. This will allow you to select the file that you want to move to a different location. Put a little check mark next to the file that you want to move and then click on copy. And then click that little button up in the top left again. Then click the little arrow in the top left this will move you up a directory and then jump into Android. Then in Android, click on data. And then in data, find the folder for Blade and Sorcery. Then go into files and then head into mods. Then click that little button up in the top left again and then click paste move. This will move the mod from your downloads directory to the game's mod directory. Then click on the file, the actual file itself this time, and click extract files. This will actually extract the mods into the mod directory. Wait for this to finish, hit OK, and make sure that the folder is showing up for the mod. As you can see, for me, the lightsaber mod is showing up right here, so that's pretty much it. We can exit out of Mobile VR Station and hop into Blade and Sorcery to make sure everything works. Scrolling down in the bottom of the book here, you can see that the mod is in fact showing up, and I can click on the weapons, click spawn, and click equip, and they're showing up in game. So we can move on to the next title. Now, let's jump right into modding Bone Lab. So once again, first of all, you're going to want to find the mod that you actually want to use. So so here I am downloading the lightsaber mod for Bone Lab once again. What can I say? Lightsabers are really cool in VR. Then once you have your mod, fire up Mobile VR Station. In Mobile VR Station, select Local Files, then select All Folders, then go into Download. Click this button up in the top left and put a little check mark next to the mod. Then click copy. Once you've done that, press that little button once again. Then press this little up arrow. This will bring you up a directory. Then go into Android. Then go into data. Scroll down a little bit until you find the Bone Lab folder. Inside the Bone Lab folder, click on files and then click on mods. Click that little button up in the top left again and then click paste move. This will move the mod from your downloads folder into the Bone Lab mods folder. Then click on the file and the file itself itself. Then click extract. Once the mod has extracted, press OK and that's it. Make sure the folder is showing up right there and once you know it is, fire up Bone Lab, click on mods and make sure that your mod is showing up in game. It's that simple. So another cool thing that you can actually do with this is you can install Bone Lab saves. So let me show you how to do that right now. First of all, go on to Nexus Mods and find the save file that you want. I'm going to be going for this 100% completion save file. Download the save file that you wish to install and once it's downloaded, fire up Mobile VR Station. Then in Mobile VR Station, click on Local Files, then click on All Folders, and go to Download. In Download, click on this button up in the top left here, select the save file that you've just downloaded, and then click on Copy. 
Once you've clicked on copy, click on that little button up in the top left again, and then click on the arrow. That will bring you up a directory. Go into Android, go into data, and find the Bone Lab folder. Then in the Bone Lab folder, click on files, and then instead of clicking on mods, click on saves. Then click on that button up in the top left again, and click on paste move. This will move the save file from your downloads to the Bone Lab saves folder. Then click on that button up in the top left again, and then click on the file itself. Then click on extract, and once it's done extracting, press OK. You won't actually see anything show up here, however the file has extracted. Going into Bone Lab, you can see you now have your 100% completion save file, and you can jump into the game, jump into the sandbox, or jump into absolutely anything you'd like. Here we can also test out my modded sabers, and we can see that they're working perfectly fine. And throwing them on the moon is incredibly satisfying, as I can also use the force to bring them to me. Am I the only one that thinks that sabers are just like the coolest thing in VR? Anyway, that's that. Installing save files, super simple, super cool. And finally, here is how you do this on QuestCraft. I actually already have a tutorial on how to mod QuestCraft right up here, but that's using a PC or a phone. If you want to mod QuestCraft on your Quest... Okay, so here is unfortunately what's happening. I downloaded a few mods for Minecraft, um, but we can't actually get them installed. So unfortunately, there is no way to install mods uh, using the Quest itself just yet. And not only do they actually not show up in downloads, I believe that this is because mobile VR station isn't allowed to see jar files, probably because of some sort of Oculus limitation. You can see they're not actually showing up, but it also cannot see if I go into data here. There should be a dot Minecraft folder here, which is not showing up because that's a hidden folder. So I assume that mobile VR station can also not see hidden files. And I've tried pressing a bunch of these settings. I've tried showing hidden files. I've tried doing a, a bunch of different things here and unfortunately there is no way to see jar files or anything like that that would allow us to transfer and copy the files later on so this is a pretty good solution unfortunately it seems for things like questcraft that is not going to work the way we'd like it to as you can see they are as a matter of fact there in the downloads and if i go to my download section you can see that they are there it's just mobile vr station can't see them and then this file explorer cannot see the android folder so we can't use this one either so currently if you are not willing to sideload a file manager to your quest there's no way of actually getting the files into that folder using the quest itself unfortunately so uh yeah and yes i know the quest does actually come with a file manager nowadays however that file manager is quite limited as to what you can do on this file manager you can even go as far as actually accessing smb shares so if you've got like a nas running inside Inside your home you can actually access the files off your nas inside mobile vr station quite a few people have actually mentioned mobile vr station to me in the past and i was quite interested in it so here i am bringing you a video on it i know that there's also a new app called lemon loader or something like that that i need to do a bit more research on and i'll be bringing you a video on that as well once i figure out exactly how to use that and how that works it's also used for modding games and it's just something like melon loader that you'd have on your computer but uh yeah that's going to be it for today's video this one was super simple, super quick, but I hope it could help you out. That is how simple it is to mod games on your quest and on your quest only. So I'm Mystical. If you guys like this one, please do slap the like. It helps the channel out a ton. doesn't cost you anything. However, if you disliked it, this button does work too. Just let me know why down in the comment section below. Thank you so much to the Patreon supporting this channel. You guys help me out a ton, paying my bills, paying my subscriptions, and helping me make these videos better. And if you guys are not yet part of the community, check out our Discord, check out our Reddit down below. I want to see you posting your spice memes in there. And as usual, if you want to be notified about your content coming up on the channel make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead ding my bell and see you again in the next video peace